banning baseball, soccer balls, footballs to keep kids from getting hurt? Is this too much? Tonight we ask, what are we protecting our kids from? This is Evening Express. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Lynn Berry. And I'm Ryan Smith. We are in day nine of the partial government shutdown. And we're just a week away over what can be an even bigger mess, the debt ceiling. Spokesman for House Speaker John Boehner says a small group of House Republicans are going to meet with the president tomorrow at the White House. And there's talk of a short-term deal that could get the government back on track and running. But uh, no concrete action so far. So when will it end? And what can be done? And what's the effect on everyday people? If you're confused, you're not alone. So here on Evening Express, we like to say there's no such thing as a stupid question. I want you to send us any question you have on what's happening in Washington, and we'll give you some answers starting right now. Because joining me, author and political columnist Jason Johnson. Always good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. And uh, let's get right into it, Jason. Here are some questions that our viewers are sending in. First up, there's Tina on Facebook. She wants to know, if the debt isn't raised, what will happen to Social Security and the people who live on so little? Well, if the debt ceiling isn't raised, we do not have the ability to pay our bills. Now, short term, something like Social Security would still get paid for. We can actually fudge the money uh, until the end of the month. But the bigger bills, the money that we owe overseas, the money that we owe the large corporations, that will come due. So Social Security would still survive even if we hit the debt ceiling next Thursday. Okay, let's take another one. Terry on Facebook asks, am I losing my disability? Yes, no, maybe so. Which is it? Well, it depends on where you get your disability from. Uh, if it's paid for through a federal grant to your particular state, then you might lose it. The best thing to do, you have to call your state agencies. As members of Congress are sort of shuffling around funds, sometimes there are ways that you can still get some of your money even when the federal government shut down. And you mentioned calling the state agencies. Are they all actually there or are some of those folks furloughed? Well, that depends because if it's a state agency based on, say, stimulus money or some sort of federal grant, they may not be there. But I'd say a lot of local agencies are really working overtime to answer these questions for people in the local areas. Okay, good deal. Rebecca asks on Facebook, can the president pass an order overriding them, I assume she means Congress, and then people will get paid? Unfortunately, he cannot. Uh, a lot of the appropriations, it's the way our Constitution was set up. The appropriations for the government have to be paid for and have to be allowed by Congress. Now, there are certain things that have to be paid for, certain aspects of the military, mail delivery. That's something the president can control. But the rest of this, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency, FDA, all that has to come through Congress. Okay, Elizabeth, we've got a question from her. She says, why is the Supreme Court in session if there's a government shutdown isn't the Supreme Court part of the government? <laughs> it is. But Good point. It, yeah, it's, it's it, you know, it, and of course, yeah. we're also asking why are congressmen still getting right. paid? Um, the Supreme Court is considered absolutely necessary. Everything that our government does, even when it's partially shut down, the Supreme Court has to make sure that it's constitutional. So they will always be working no matter what the shutdown. Okay. These essential branches yes, essential. and those essential functions. Marina on Facebook asks, can the government, uh, can the governmental figure responsible, can the governmental figures responsible for the shutdown Oh, I get it now. Be punished or fired for their actions? Uh, and if so, what are the consequences or punishments? Why or why not? So she wants to punish those people who are causing the shutdown in the first place. There is a way you can punish them. It's How's called that? voting. <laughs> <laughs> what you do, you take a look. You call. This is a, a wonderful opportunity for civic action on the part of Americans. Call your congressperson. Call your senator. Find out where they stand on these debt ceiling debates. And if they have a position that you don't appreciate and your family is suffering, make sure you remember that next fall and vote them out in 2014. All right, great. Great stuff, Jason. Again, no stupid questions. Ask anything. You can ask Jason. He knows almost anything. Your Twitter is at Jason Johnson. Yes, at Dr. Yeah. Jason Johnson. So always good to ask him questions. He knows it all when it comes to politics. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right. So not news here, but the government.